Well, I really love the story, and I love the messages that were in the story and the world that that uh, was created uh, uh, by the the original uh, writers of the of the show. It's a fantasy world, but there it's a story about uh, humanity and and tolerance and. Uh, um, I, I just thought it might be a nice, nice story to tell. What is this? Anyway, the Fire Nation is here. You can't please everybody, and it's always a challenge when you adapt something, whether it's a book or a TV series, into, you know, two hours. Mm. Um, but uh, we're always up for the challenge, and I, this was such a wonderful world with these four elements and, and the different nations, and there was a lot to work with, uh, both in a story-wise, but also visually. But you're, you're always gonna have somebody that's gonna say, well, why didn't you have that character, and, and where are those characters? And at one point, we had too much of that first year in the movie, and it became confusing because there wasn't enough time to tell uh, what other characters were doing, so we've taken some of those and put them into the second story. We have a script, and uh, hopefully um, we will continue to do good business internationally, like we did in the States, and uh, we'll get the go-ahead uh, uh, by the end of the summer, I would think. One of the first that inspired me was not, was an Orson Welles film, but not Citizen Kane. Okay. It's called Touch of Evil. Right, yeah. And I just love this movie. Um, it's a sort of undiscovered movie of Orson Welles's, and it was restored a few years ago. And they put the shots they were, the way they were supposed to be when Orson created it. And uh, it was just uh, you know the magic and 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 the acting and it's just a wonderful filmmaking experience of how to tell a story and how to create characters. And that's always been a great inspiration for me. Mm -hmm.